We know that many of you have been looking forward to using our new video uploading feature, and we're so excited to finally put this beta into your hands. In this video, I will be showing you how to configure the video uploading options, how to test the new features in your website, and at the end, I will outline some key areas we are hoping to get your feedback on. To get started, make sure you've set up a dedicated WordPress website just for beta testing. Please do not use our beta software on a production website, as this is pre-release software and may contain bugs. You will need to be using the beta versions of both BuddyBoss Platform and BuddyBoss Theme in order to test the video uploading feature. Once you have everything set up, you can follow along with the rest of this video. Here I am in the WordPress admin at BuddyBoss Components. First, make sure you have enabled the media uploading component. You can see in the description that we have added videos to the supported media types for this component. Next, let's go into the media settings. And as I scroll down, you'll notice that a new settings area has been added for videos. And I'm seeing two notices here. This first one is just telling us that video uploading is not yet supported in BuddyBoss app. This means if you have an app connected to your beta website, the videos you upload will not display properly in the app. We are working on supporting videos in the app, which will be ready in the near future. In the second notice, says that the server needs FFmpeg installed to automatically generate multiple thumbnails after uploading video files. FFmpeg is a script that you can install on your server. If FFmpeg is not installed, everything will still function nicely. When you upload a video using JavaScript, we will be able to generate a single thumbnail from the video automatically. However, if you do install FFmpeg on your server, then after uploading a video, we are able to also generate multiple additional thumbnails from the video using the FFmpeg script. Then after uploading the video, when you click the button to add thumbnail, you'll be able to select from multiple pre-generated thumbnails, which provides a more complete experience. You can ask your web host to install this for you, or follow the instructions on the FFmpeg website to install it on your local machine. Now let's check to enable video uploading for profiles, groups, messages, and forums. And I'll scroll down and click on Save Settings. Now that I have enabled video uploading, I'm getting this notice here that I need to create a videos page. This will be a directory page that displays all videos uploaded to the community, filtered for each member based on permissions. This page works similarly to the global photos page if you're already using our photos component. So let's go ahead and click on repair. And then for videos, I'll click on create page and then save settings. Okay, now let's add this new videos page into my title bar menu by going into appearance menus and I'll add this new videos page into my title bar so that I can easily find it later for testing. And I'll click Save Menu. Now let's configure a few more options and then we'll check everything out on the front end. We can go back into Buddy Boss Settings and then Media. And I'll scroll back down to our video section. You can configure a maximum upload size and allowed files per batch depending on the available space on your server. Keep in mind that video files can be very large and consume server space rapidly, so be deliberate with your settings here. My local host is set to a maximum of eight megabytes, but on your server, you will want to make this substantially larger, otherwise most video files will not be able to be uploaded. And then for file extensions, you can configure which video file types are allowed to be uploaded. Let's click on manage. From here, you can enable and disable the allowed file extensions. And you can also click on Add Extension to add additional ones. Note that not all video file types are actually playable in a web browser. We are using an HTML5 video player on the front end, and we've already added all of the file extensions that are supported through HTML5. So if you do add additional file extensions, those file types will be able to be uploaded, but will not be playable in the browser. The user will need to download that video file type to be able to play it. Video files are also supported in documents in this beta, with playable video previews when clicking the video file in the document. So if I scroll to documents here, we can go into the file extensions list for documents. 
And when I scroll down here to the bottom, you can see our video file types have been added with a video icon being used for these file types. You may have already added some of these extensions in your website in the past as custom extensions. If you have duplicates, it will still work, but you may want to delete the ones you manually added just to clean the list up. Now let's go check this all out on the front end. I'll start by going into the activity feed. Here in my activity feed, if I click to add a new post, you'll see I have a new video icon now. I can use this icon to upload a video file. And I'll click post update. You can see a thumbnail was automatically generated. And then for this uploaded video, if I click on these three dots, I can add a new thumbnail, move the video into an album or delete it. Let's click on add thumbnail. From here, I could remove this and add my own custom thumbnail. And as I mentioned earlier, if you do install FFmpeg on your server, then you will see multiple pre-generated thumbnails here and you could pick from any of those to replace this thumbnail. If you have used our documents feature before, you'll be familiar with the ability to move documents into folders. And in our photos feature, you can also move photos into albums. For videos, they can also be moved into albums. This functionality is being shared with and is dependent on the photos feature, meaning videos and photos are stored together in the same albums, similar to what Facebook does. So if you've disabled photos, then the ability to move videos into albums will no longer be available. Now let's go ahead and move this video into an album. I'll click move. I'll move it into this vacation album that I already created and I'll click on move. Now let's go ahead and click on videos in the title bar. From here, we can see the video I uploaded using the thumbnail. And if other members add videos, they will appear in here as well. Let me add one more video. So you can see I can add videos from this directory page as well. And then if I go into my profile dropdown, I can click on this new videos menu. And from here, I can see all the videos I've uploaded. I can also click on photos. And then I can go into albums. And I can open up this vacation album. And we can see my video file has been moved into the album. I can click the video and I can watch it in this pop-up. I can add a description and I can leave a comment, just like the photos component. Now let's go into messages. I'll compose a new message to this member. And as you can see, I can attach a video file now to this message. I can also attach videos into forum replies and into activity posts from within my own profile and within social groups. If you've been using our documents and photos features, then this new video module should be very familiar as it has a similar interface and similar logic. This beta also includes some really major under the hood improvements to the entire media component, especially in regards to performance and privacy. We have rewritten a lot of the logic while working on videos. As an example, we have changed the methods that we use to preview photos and documents, and now videos as well, to make these previews load faster. If you have a lot of media in your activity feed, then your activity feed should load noticeably faster in this beta than with the currently released versions of BuddyBoss platform. We already know that there are other features that customers are going to request, including automatically offloading uploaded media files to external servers, automatic compression of video files, and more. These features are already being discussed for future iterations of the product. Right now in this beta period, we're not really looking for feature suggestions beyond just very minor improvements to the existing feature set. Our primary goal right now is to get this first iteration of video uploading live to customers in an official public release as soon as possible. So the main feedback that we're looking for is to help us to identify bugs with this current feature set and to identify conflicts with other plugins 
and with various server environments. Beyond miscellaneous bugs, there are two specific areas of concern that we could really use your feedback on, which I'll outline now. The first area of concern is with this FFmpeg notice that I showed you earlier in the video settings in the admin. We want to know if you have any difficulty in getting FFmpeg added to your server. And once added, we want to know if it's working properly for you. Since this is a server specific feature, it is particularly useful to have beta testers who all have their own different server environments to provide feedback for this feature. The second area of concern is related to the performance improvements we made for previewing media in the activity feed. These changes are quite substantial and we want to make sure they're working in various environments and with existing photo and document data that you may have from your existing websites. If you find any issues or want to provide other feedback, please make sure to submit it through the beta program page in your BuddyBoss account area. Just click on the send feedback button to create the ticket. If we have follow-up questions, we will reply to you. Otherwise, we'll log the issue for our development team and close your ticket. Your feedback is greatly appreciated as it's going to help contribute to a more stable release for all customers. Thank you so much for all your help.